so as you I'm sure know it was just Christmas it is now hmm, not the day after Boxing Day but the day after that whichever day that is it's Saturday so Christmas on Wednesday it's Saturday today uh, I'm sorry I didn't get a video up sooner it feels like Christmas has literally just gone vroom. I literally feel like it was Christmas yesterday because you know you have family around and people visiting and you visit other people and all that good stuff and it's just crazy I've had about I can't even count how many meals I've had but uh, so all Christmas is Christmas about food and family and friends and all that great stuff I hope that you had the absolute most fantastic Christmas I hope you got everything that you wished for and I just hope you had just an enjoyable time if you do not celebrate Christmas I hope you had a good whatever it else you might celebrate like Hanukkah or other said ones and if not I just hope you're having a, a good time but yeah I just give you all my best Christmas wishes I hope everything is good with all of you I always hope that so yes hope you had a great Christmas let me know down in the comments below uh, let me know what your favorite thing you got or make a video yourself uh, it's so much fun to see and stuff and share our Christmas love so yeah and here I am now to show you what I got for Christmas a lot of people have asked me if I'm gonna do this and if I um, you know I'm gonna do this I did it last year people have been asking me to do it so here it is and as well I thought this year it really is appropriate to do it because it's I got a lot of things that I would be showing you anyway like movies I got a ton of movies that of course I want to share with you books I got a lot of books I want to share with you like a lot of movie related things I got a lot of you know that kind of stuff so it's stuff that I would share with you anyway so I'm just going to show you everything I got for Christmas but please um like you know disclaimer I I'm so I know I'm so lucky for all these things I've got like I've got so much for Christmas and I don't even know like how I don't know I can't know how to explain but I I'm so thankful for that because I know that other people maybe don't get as much or some people don't get anything and you know, I'm just really grateful for what I've got and the real greatest things you can get for Christmas you can't buy but when you have a family like mine we love buying presents and it's so exciting to buy presents I absolutely love buying people presents like it's so much fun and I know that my mum absolutely loves buying presents and she just like oh wait I've just seen this and it's just crazy so we love buying presents and my friends we love exchanging presents and doing the whole big Thing. so we do do Christmas quite big and I've got like a lot of family off so I kind of I get a lot but it's all dotted around like my mum and dad are separated like they have been since I was very very small so I have to kind of like two separate Christmases so you know my dad and my mum they don't speak about it they just do whatever and do their own thing and get me separate stuff so you know there's that and then they I know I've got Andy's uncles cousins and friends and all the whole jazz so yeah I I know I've got a lot and I'm really really appreciative of that and so I hope you don't um, take this in a wrong way or anything like that I just wanted to say that I just don't want you to think I don't know I don't want you to think um, bad of me from this video but you guys wanted to see it and I wanted to show you and I'd love for you to show me what you got for Christmas too I absolutely love watching these videos I've already been watching them I was like what I got for Christmas videos they're so much fun to watch and I don't think anything bad of them I know that some people do but I really enjoy watching them and I think it's so much fun to see what other people got because that's what you do with your friends and family, you show people what you've got and it's just a lot of fun so you know don't take, you know just, you know it's fun that's all so yeah thanks so much for, I don't know, taking that into consideration and now let's just get straight into it, okie doke! Okay now we'll get into the movies because I know that's probably most of the thing you want to see but first before the movies I'm going to start off with a CD because I've just got one CD so I thought I'd just show that first and the CD was from Sherry, my friend you might have seen her in a video or two and I, I didn't expect this for some reason because she, I don't know, she knows me weller than I thought she did. Uh, does that make sense? And I was so surprised and excited about this. Like, I was like, oh, that face, you know? So yeah, it is now, that's what I call Disney CD. Now this is awesome because it's got four CDs, it's got all the Disney songs, three of the CDs are the Disney ones, and one is a bonus Christmas one, because look, it's a Christmas edition. Nothing's better than that. So yeah, these are the CDs. And like, oh man, look at it. Oh, there's so much Disney goodness. I was so excited. I've already been listening to this and I like know all the words and I absolutely love it. And I'm just so happy and thankful for this CD because I just love it and it's perfect. And she just decided that, you know, no, no, I didn't say anything. She just knew. So there we go. Perfect present. Now that's what I call Disney CD. So I love that so much. So that's a CD. Okay. Now I will show you, I got Planes Blu-ray 3D, now I did do a unpackaging of this because I got it from Ian Fockable here on YouTube and he's such an awesome guy, I did a whole big video about it so I'm going to link that down below so you can check out that video and then you can go check out his channel. So I got that, very, very exciting. 
at least the next couple are off my mum and the first one is the Little Mermaid Trilogy Blu-ray. <gasps> I was so excited. I knew I was getting this because um, when it came out, you know, she said she'd get it for me. Like, when did it come out? It was a couple of months ago she said she'd get it for me. So I didn't get it because otherwise she knew I'd just buy it because I really wanted it. Um, yeah, so I've been really, really looking forward to this. So you've got... Oops. Uh, Little Mermaid Diamond Edition and it's number 28 on the classic ones. I try and uh, get all those. You got Little Mermaid 2 Return to the Sea, which I also enjoy. And then Little Mermaid 3 Ariel's Beginning, which I have not yet seen. So I'm going to be excited to see that. And I just love this. I have the trilogy of The Lion King and now I have the trilogy of this and it's just so nice. Oh, Little Mermaid is one of my all time favourite Disney movies ever. Okay. And the two other Disney movies I got were Peter Pan, which is classic number 14. I haven't seen this movie for a long time. I always used to really like the live action one when I got a bit older so I stopped watching this one as much but this is a great movie and then one I'm so excited to watch again Aladdin uh, number 31 is the number I have not seen this movie for years I cannot wait to rewatch this because I don't remember much of it because I've not seen it for so long so yeah Aladdin um, the next two I am very very excited about one was a surprise and this was a surprise for my mum and it's a film and she knew that I absolutely love this film and I always got about that really quite expensive to buy these films are and this is my favourite of the film collection and it's a Studio Ghibli film and it is My Neighbour Totoro oh my god I love this movie if you haven't seen this movie you really need to watch it I've seen it once or twice when we borrowed it off someone when I was quite a bit younger and I just fell in love with this movie and I loved it I've never owned it I've never you know you know so I was literally I peeled off the wrapping and there was like this much you can see this little guy here and the silver and I was like <gasps> and it was so exciting so yeah this is way too exciting I love this film if you haven't seen any studio Ghibli movies you seriously need to check them out because they are so good and this one is by far my favourite um, another uh, film I got is this is off my dad and this is another studio Ghibli one and it is from Up on Poppy Hill which is the new uh, the new studio Ghibli one uh, I haven't haven't seen this yet but I am looking forward to checking it out because yeah like I said this is the newer one that's just recently been released but look the case for this one's black and all the other ones are white which seems very strange so they must be changing it up yeah I've got quite a few of these I'll do maybe a little collection video if you want to see that let me know but yeah from Up and Poppy Hill if you've seen any of these uh, just let me know another one I was super excited about because I have heard really good but weird things about this and it is Mary and Max the claymation one and like and again I uh, this is like a, a surprise one from my mum again and Cause she's she's so awesome at surprises. I don't know how she does. Anyways, I peel it away. I was like, <gasps> she's like, like, cause she didn't know that I have it. Cause she doesn't look through all the stuff. So it's kind of a bit of a gamble. <laughs> so and I don't have this. And I've heard of it. And I'd wanted it. And people have recommended it to me actually. So yeah, Mary and Max. I feel like I should be a bit quicker here. But yeah, I'm so excited. My excitement is too much. Um, admission with Paul Rudd, Tina Fey. Really looking forward to. Oh, how my face. Really looking forward to seeing this one. Very excited. Um, I really like Paul Rudd so and Tina Fey she's funny another one I'm very excited about is Returns to Nims Island I know that some of you might be like oh they've changed all the characters and all that but I love Nims Island so much but yeah okay they've changed all the characters but it's fine I'm okay with that I've not seen it yet but I'm excited to see it and Bindi Owens in it and I think she's great you know I know everyone's like oh maybe she can't act but you know what it's just a fun film okay I'm very excited to watch this shortly soon um, a Christmassy one that I got is um, How About You. I don't know a lot about this, but my mum watched it last night and she said she really enjoyed it. It was really good, so there we are. So excited about this one. 3D Minions, Despicable Me 2. Oh my gosh. Despicable Me is one of my favourite movies. I'm getting too excited for myself here. Despicable Me is one of my favourite movies and Despicable Me 2 is great. I saw it in the cinema and I love this movie. We have like this family joke about this movie. So of course like um, my mum and stepdad wanted to get me this movie because you know we have this big joke about it because I don't know anyway it's a long story I'm not going to go into it first. This video is going to be forever long just because of my ramblings but like you know who doesn't love Despicable Me and the minions and the little kids and oh my god it's so good. Um, this one is from my dad. This is a 3D um, uh, box set 
and it's Sharks 3D, Dolphin and Whale 3D and Ocean Wonderland 3D. I think this is going to be really interesting, I'm really excited to check this out, especially in 3D, I think it's going to look really awesome. Uh, I've not really got any uh, things like this in 3D, so I think it'll look really great. And it is, who is it? Who's the person? Is it David Attenborough? No, it's not. It's Jean Michael Kruger. Okay, I can't pronounce that name. But still, this seems really awesome, and I'm really excited to check it out. And yeah, the one that looks the best to me is Dolphin and Whales, because I like dolphins and whales best. But I think the shark one will be really scary, so I want to check that out. And the ocean one, it's got turtles, so. Yes! Oh, this complete Gossip Girl collection oh my god I've been going on about Gossip Girl for a while now and I love Gossip Girl so much and this is the sixth series and I'm I bought the fifth series myself mm, this month and I'm just getting through it now so I'm so excited to see how it all ends and everything oh I just I love it so much and once I've watched it I know I'm gonna watch them all again because I love Gossip Girl oh this is very excited I have never seen this series but I got series one and two of Sherlock this was from my dad uh, again and I'm really excited to see this, I've never seen an episode at all but I really like the Sherlock movies, I've heard really good things about this to show so very excited to be checking out series 1 and 2 of this so really looking forward to that, I haven't ever seen it so it's going to be good I'm sure. And then finally for uh, movie section here I have got this big box set of, I'm sorry I'm losing my voice, <clears throat> big box set of Days That Shook The World and it's series 1, 2 and 3 but on the, but this one too it says 2 and 3 but anyway and it's a lavender set and basically this is all like a whole documentary series about things that like big things that happen for example like the moon er uh, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to think of anything now am I um, 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 cold war pearl harbor princess diana's death come on let's think of some more that's on here I know I've seen uh, Mar 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 Martin Luther King cannot say that properly but anyway you get the gist this seems really awesome and it's all a load of documentaries and I have heard good things about this and it's the BBC yeah BBC so that seems like a really cool thing and it's sort of a bit different as well like it's educational also and I don't know much about some of these things so I'll learn something because I either wasn't alive or I was really young or you know those kind of things so yeah that is days that shook the world oh my god my voice where's it going days that shook the world awesomeness Moving on now to books, this is very exciting. First book is actually the first thing that I opened on Christmas morning and oh my god, this is one of the most beautiful books I've ever seen. I was so, so excited about this book and it is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. This book is absolutely beautiful, like the side and all the inside is all so nice, like it's got even pictures in here, like, oh man, I can't wait to read this. I really... Um, have been wanting to get this for such a long time and Tim Burton is also making it into a movie I believe so that'll be kind of interesting but sorry I'm out of breath I've been carrying things around um, yeah I was so excited about this and it was the first thing I opened and it was so awesome and yeah I love this so much next a book that I've heard loads of good things about The Night Circus yes I've heard so good things about this uh, I'm very excited about this um yeah I've, like I say I've heard a lot of good things about this so I might have some recommendations for this to, for me to read this book so that's so awesome the next two are Heroes um Heroes of Olympus books so I'm blah, 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 blah. The Son of Neptune which is the second book in the Heroes of Olympus series and The Mark of Anth Ah, Athena. Why did that be so hard? Yeah, so that's the second and third book in. Oh my god, why can't I talk? In the series, so awesome. I love the Percy Jackson books and these books, and Rick Riordan is awesome. So, very, very, very excited. Next is a book from my awesome friend Ariel and I made a video opening this. Again, I'll link it down below and you can check her out. She is totally awesome and it's Ready Player One. This feels so nice. Um, I was so excited to get this and I'm so excited to read this. So yeah, I'm very excited about that. Um, my miscellaneous thing, I got these little camper van. I love camper vans if you don't know. And I really want a camper van one day. I got these little camper van bookmarks which are really cool and they're really cute and they're all different colours. Um, I also got, no I'll say that one until later, I got a few, um, I got these, right I'll show you, I got these two, well obviously I was going to show you, I got these two Disney books, I got this Tangled one and in these books are the most beautiful books I've ever seen, I got this Tangled one, it's The Art of Tangled, 
um, it's a Disney one and look here's the back this one is amazing this one's from my mum and uh, this book is so incredible it's all about how you know it was made and drawn and all that and Tangled as you know it's like my favourite Disney movie I love Tangled so I got that and it's seriously the most beautiful book but they do loads of these the Disney films and I seriously want to just like collect them all now because I, they, I didn't even know about them till this like a couple of months ago and I was like oh my god they're amazing so I got a Tangled one which I love I need to read through them if you want me to review them or anything just let me know and I got the Brave one and this one's from my dad and this one's so beautiful and what's dead interesting as well is because Brave's set in Scotland it's got a lot of pictures in Scotland and I've been to Scotland because obviously I'm from England and Scotland's only you know upwards but yeah it's all really really nice ah oh, and it also has a lot of writing in i've not really found a page of words in yet so you can't really see but like you know about how why they like like you know why they chose that area and all that good stuff these seriously are so nice i'm like oh, just don't even want to you know and then off sherry i got this book and again i was so surprised i didn't know and i was like oh and i just love it so much and it's frozen um book of the film and it's just so nice i just love this um yeah so i actually haven't seen frozen yet but i'm gonna see it and this book is just so cute and it's just so pretty and i just really love it so that's frozen the book of the film i got this little film journal which is amazing seriously it's a film journal and i'm not um, i'm not gonna open it up but at the beginning it's got all about different genres and then inside it's got all these little slips like all these little bits where you can fill in your own film reviews and it's got like spaces for what like it says rating and you put your rating and it says description or synopsis whatever and you put your little synopsis and it says like i'll just open it up it's so cool if you really like films and stuff it's really awesome to get see it says like film name year personal star rating genre director um actors and characters names the length of the film the plot personal review trivia awards and official website and i am b d i am d b reference so this is really really cool because obviously i love films and i want to review more films and this is just so cute look at it oh okay and then i got this which yeah i don't even think i need to say any more about this the Hunger Games Catching Fire Official Illustrated Movie Companion. I actually have the first Hunger Games one and this is just amazing. I love the Hunger Games. The book is my favourite book ever. The film was way better than I ever imagined it to be. And this is all about how they made it. How the first film was a success and all that good jazz. So, so excited. And of course... my dad and this was so so sweet and it is the hummingbird bakery cookbook if you don't know i love to bake cakes i can't cook but i can bake and this is so good it's got some really we were looking through and like oh my god i want that and that and that and we just want to eat them all so love this it's so awesome so yeah those are the books that i got and i love them all so much i've got a lot of reading to do like i say some of them are movie books some of them are reading books some of them are randoms but yeah Okay guys, so we're going to miscellaneous items now, which is just random things. And I just want to add in, I'm not actually going to show the clothes I got for Christmas because they're always hard to show and it's not because of any reason. I love the clothes I got for Christmas. I got some really, really nice clothes that I'm so grateful for and love so much. Like I got a such a nice coat, some lovely leggings, loads of like a nice jumper. I got some really, really nice stuff in the clothing area, but I'm just not going to show it to you because you can never really see what it is. And... I don't know if any of you are interested in that, but if you are, just put down below that you want to see my Christmas clothes and I'll show you. But for now, these are my miscellaneous bits. I'm going to rush through them, so it's not because I like them any less or anything, it's just because I ramble on way too much already. So, yeah, the first thing I'll show you is, oh my god, Super Mario 3D World! Oh my god. So, this is the best game I've ever played, ever, I think. I love this game, I'm going to do a review on it, it's amazing, I've been on this so much. I, I won't talk about it too much because I'm going to do a review on this, so yes. So, so happy about that. My stomach is rumbling. Okay, I got these nail varnishes, which seriously, they're the pretty colours ever. Pretty? A prettiest? You know what I mean. Love these so much. And there's like loads of them. There's like seven. They're so amazing. I got these slippers, which are... Just look at them. They're so cute and fluffy and soft and warm. 
I got a Skylander, which is awesome because it's a Skylander with a bow and arrow, which I, I love bow and arrow things. Cause, and it's a um, flame slinger. So cool. Love that so much. This thing's a bullet on me, so let's look at these. I got this, which is really awesome. It's a watercolour paint set, Majiggy Majiggy. Did I say as well? These random things are all from either, they might be from my mum, they might be from my dad, they might be from a friend, they might be from my auntie, they might be from a cousin. I'm just showing them and yeah. You guys know how I feel about Glee. So this, you just, I don't even need to tell you. I love Glee. You know that. Let's put that on there. Okay. These are really, really, really cute earrings. And look at the packaging. Let's just take a minute. Look at that packaging. So, so cute. I got this little makeup set. And this is really sweet, actually, because this is off my dad. I wasn't going to tell you who's off who. And it was like a little surprise. And, you know, he doesn't have a, a partner or anything. So he picked this out himself. And I love this. The colour's so nice. Everything's perfect about this. And I just, because, you know, dads don't know makeup, but he does. And that was so sweet of him. This makeup case, which is adorable can we just say oh my god it's got bunnies on it and it's pink and i've got my favorite mascara in here which i got this one off my mom and then my friend got me one too i've got two uh, this is the only mascara i can actually use so love this this is i'm gonna put these both in here actually uh, i love these so much so 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 much and i got this it's just a lip balm thick it's a flavored one it's raspberry mm, i love raspberries and lip balm you must need in this weather must must have I got this, which is an owl. Oh my god, it's an owl. It's a doorstop owl. It smells quite nice, actually. It's a doorstop, but I'm going to just put it as an ornament, I think, because I love owls. Going with the owl theme, I got this awesome phone case from my friend, and it's pink, and it's an owl, and it looks really cute because my phone's white, and it just looks great. So, I seriously, I love this. My phone looks so nice. My other phone case was, like, really getting dirty, and this one just looks dead nice. I love it. My phone looks, like, new now. Um, next, in this little box, I have this adorable, really cute necklace, but it's so, it's really pretty, it's like really little and small, but I don't want to get it out, because one, you really won't be able to see it, and two, I just don't want to lose it. Um, mini mouse mug, if you can see that, it's awesome. Do, 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 do. I got some body sprays, these all smell really nice, the new impulse ones. This majig. Because my hair molts like anything, you've got to do this. So my mum got me this to, you know, you know what that is, yeah? To do that. Are you ready? Argyle socks. I really wanted some Argyle socks. Because Shea Carl has Argyle socks. And he goes, I got my socks on. I got my socks on. I got my Argyle socks on. So I was so happy when I got these. I just put them on right away. So, I have actually worn these, so that's a bit gross, but I just really want to show them anyway. Um, these socks. My mum got me these ones, and they were with my uh, Ariel box set. Oh, amazing. And then my friend got me some similar, and they're the Barbie ones. So they're like this really cool material, and they're amazing. I love those kind of socks. They're super cool. Um, hair bubbles in a ball. It's like one of them elastic band balls, but it's hair bubbles. That's awesome. These rings, which are really cute, and they're all the different type of cross. Really love those. Eyelashes. Okay, this bracelet is in this little cute bag. If I can get it out. It's really awesome. I don't know if you can really see. Hope you can. You see? Hope so. Let me get it back in the bag now. There we go. This hairbrush, which is really awesome. Oh, well, it's the wrong way around, but this is like for one for in the shower. It's really cool. I have actually um, used this already and it was really good. I know it doesn't look like a brush my hair, but I occasionally I do. I try to in the shower. And then this other amazing brush, which is a Tangle Teaser one, and I'll just show you this one really quick. It's like this. Tangle teaser brush, and then I think just these two glasses. I hope I haven't. Oh no, this these blue socks too, which are over the knee ones, which are really cool. I really like those. Blue is one of my favourite colours, 
And then this is something that I asked for that I was really excited about and it is a laptop tray and it's really cool because like you put your laptop on here because I always have my laptop on the bed because I don't have a desk so my laptop gets hot and it gets overheated and like it's got this gap so that it can breathe and stuff but you can also plug it in and it like has a fan inside and it does all that magic and makes it not hot so I love that and finally it's really awesome and it is a Disney, uh, it's not in there because I've been using it, Disney Thousand Piece Puzzle. Now I've been started on this and um, I've not got too far, I thought it'd be easier than it is. So I will show a video when I've done it. Um, I could have done like a time lapse of doing it but I started yesterday, I've done some more today and it's still, bits are just everywhere. So hopefully when I finish this I will, ow. I'll show you on my extra channel so you can see what that looks like, but it's really cool and I'm really enjoying doing it, but it's really hard because look, seriously, she's wearing a yellow dress, she's wearing a yellow dress, and she's wearing a yellow dress, and it's way bigger than you think it was going to be, because the picture, it looks small, but like, Pinocchio's head is actually like this big, and like, yeah, so it's pretty big, but yeah, it's really awesome. So I hope everybody had a really great Christmas, and thanks so much for watching my video here, let me know down in the comments below what you got for Christmas, and all that good stuff, and make a video if you want to, and I will go now, I've rambled on too much. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and yeah, bye!